In this video, I'm going to put a shark in a puddle. So I'm starting with a new document. And I'm going to the stock studio and I'm typing in puddle. And then I'm moving over to Unsplash and I'm dragging the picture into the document. Then I'm zooming out and on the move tool I'm just resizing it. And then I'm bringing the bottom and top edges in. And now I want it to look a bit moodier. So I'm going to the adjustments studio and I'm adding a HSL adjustment. And then I'm bringing down the saturation. And the luminance. Then I'm adding a fill layer and I'm changing the colour to blue. And I'm changing the blend mode to overlay. and I'm bringing down the opacity. Then I'm going back to the adjustments and I'm adding a exposure adjustment. And then I'm adding a mask layer to the exposure. And then I'm going on the paintbrush and I'm going to paint away some of the exposure from the puddle. Just because I don't want that to be as dark. And now I want to add the shark, so I'm going back to the stock studio and I'm typing in shark fin.
and then I'm placing that in the puddle. And I'm bringing down the opacity just so I can see it better. And then on that chalk, I'm adding a mask layer. And I'm going to start painting away the edges. And then I'm bringing down the opacity. And now I want to match that water to the puddle. So I'm adding an exposure adjustment. And I'm bringing the exposure down. And then I'm adding a fill layer. I'm dragging that onto the shark. Then I'm changing the blend mode. I'm changing the blend mode to soft light. And I'm bringing the opacity down. Then I'm going back to the mask layer to remove some from the end. I'm then going back to the puddle and I'm dragging the HSL adjustment and the fill layer on top of it and the exposure adjustment too. I want to make the tail a bit darker so I'm adding a pixel layer and I'm dragging that onto the shark and then using the paintbrush I'm just going to paint over it with black and then I'm changing the blend mode to soft light I'm then going back to the mask layer for the shark and I'm removing a bit more from the tail. I'm then adding a pixel layer and I'm dragging that onto the shark. And then I'm colour selecting the blue in the puddle. And I'm painting that on top.
and then I'm changing the blend mode to soft light. And then I'm going back to the mask and I'm changing the colour to white just because I want to bring back some of that water. And then bringing down the opacity a bit more on that blue. And I'm changing it to overlay. I'm then adding a curves adjustment. And I'm bringing down the highlights. And bringing up the shadows. And then moving through the colour channels and I'm moving the top point over to the left to add some more red in the highlights and the bottom one over to the right to add some more blue in the shadows. On the green I'm bringing the top point down to add some purple and the bottom point up which will add some green in the shadows and then for the blue I'm bringing the top point down which will add some yellow and the bottom point up which will add some blue And then moving back to the red and bringing the top point over a bit more. And then I'm adding an exposure adjustment to brighten up the image. And then I'm adding a brightness and contrast adjustment. So I'm bringing up the contrast. And I'm bringing up the brightness as well. And then I'm just going back to the curves adjustment and bringing up the white point and then I'm adding a new dot to bring the blacks down. And then I'm adding a depth of field blur and I'm dragging that to the top of the layers and I'm making sure the shark is in the centre circle. And then I'm bringing the clarity up. And the vibrance. And then I'm bringing the radius up which will blur the edges. And 
and then I'm going to click protect alpha and then I just want to crop a little bit from the top and bottom so I'm clicking on the crop tool and I'm dragging the top point down and dragging the bottom point up and then I'm clicking apply and then bringing the exposure up a bit more And then I want to darken the edges, so I'm adding a pixel layer. And then I'm just painting around the edges with black. And I'm changing that to soft light. And then I'm bringing down the opacity. And then I'm just removing a little bit from the top left corner. So I'm going on the erase brush and making sure the opacity is low. And the flow is on about 50%. And then I'm just painting over that corner. And then I'm bringing the opacity up a bit. I just want to darken the bottom of the picture so I'm adding another pixel layer and then I'm changing that to soft light as well and bringing down the opacity 